It's finally here, the Huawei M Pencil. It got shipped to me via China because you cannot get it here in New Zealand because it's not here available. Even the MatePad Pro is not available. So it got shipped via ship because airplanes don't allow batteries. And this is a Huawei M Pencil I got from Jingdong. Around 50 euros, a bit cheaper than an official store. And I want to show you what you can do with it on the MatePad Pro. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is pair this pencil with your uh, MatePad Pro and what you can do is just simply putting it on the top. You see there are magnets on the top here, some holes that are magnetic and this allow the pencil to stick. And if you see it here, it says it's charging right now. On the first try you get a connection. Uh, window where you can hit connect and then the pencil is usable and you can just unplug it and use it to navigate your system. What you can do as well is turn the device off, take your pen, tap on it and it will go automatically into memo mode and I can just write something in here. I have the option to mark text if I like to. I can also use the pen to draw something if I want to. I can change colors if I like to. And I have the option, of course, to select my text and my drawings and then simply move them around. So even if I want to move some parts around, you can see I can move them around like this. I have to be a bit more strict and then I can move them around and I can even move this around if I'd like to. Most of the time you would just write by having the tablet in tablet mode and then start writing. So let me go to the um, mode here and then I have of course palm rejection so I can just simply write or even draw something without big issues. I can use my hand to scroll down and write something new. And of course I have the option to save this as well. And there are some more options just like show lines that help me when I want to write some notes. And besides the note application, you have Nebo for Huawei, which is a text documentation or text uh, document editor. So you can just write something down. It will detect your handwriting. You can double tap your f with your finger. You can use your palm, palm rejection is working and it will transfer it into text. Uh, you can also edit this text again later by double tap and I want to like make it a, a highlight and a title and I have like uh, subtitles as well and I can make it just like this and it will be a subtitle H2 uh, I have the option to, if I want to uh, have the keyboard, to have a keyboard in here and I can go back to the pen. If I want to delete something, I can just delete it like this. If I want to go up, I can let it go up like this, as you can see. And if I want to delete a word like this, I can also do this and it will delete this word here and I can say uh, this was a test, a subtitle. Uh, so I have editing options like this. I can also do my list if I like to. Oops. I can choose my thickness as well if I want to. And I uh, have the option to delete stuff. I have a list, for example. And I want to include milk, honey and uh, water and I can double tap and it will make a list uh, automatically. The detection did not work for this, so I can delete this and write it like this and here as well. So you can see I have the option to do my list here. I also have some other options when I press on the plus button. I take, can take a screenshot picture. I can sketch something. So if I want to sketch something, I 
I have the option to sketch here. I have other options as well, like uh, adding diagrams if I want to. So I have like this and have this here. And you can see it is like uh, detecting what I typed in and uh, have the option of course to change colors and do something like this and it is uh, doing stuff here as you can see i have the option to arrange this the way i want it and i have of course always the option to go in here and uh, change stuff like can drag this a bit further away arrange it a bit differently so these are the options that i have here and there are lots and lots of more options i can save and export stuff there's a nice welcome page here in the collection where it explains everything that i can do as you can see here the formatting that i showed you highlighting is possible emphasizing something is possible as well and uh, having a list item as i showed you converting stuff as well that was incorrectly detected and there are many many other options available like here using an existing keyboard and also then using math objects here you can just write equations inside here and uh, double tap and it will automatically fill out what you wrote down which is pretty handy you can change your equation if you like to do this this is possible here and diagrams can also look like this a lot lot or more organized than i did it so this is the nebo app for huawei which is pretty powerful and you can do a lot already when it comes to taking notes for lectures and uh, other things so pretty interesting the next app that I want to show you is a math calculating my script app which allows you just to write down uh, the equation that you want to do uh, and it will then uh, simply let me put something in here like this for example uh, and it will give me an equation and uh, calculation in here I can of course delete this if I want to and can write it down like this and it will give me also some um, calculations here also I can also do something like this and it will give me uh, also a solution for this which is pretty handy especially if you're doing math in class or something like this it can give you some solutions uh, for math problems even more complex problems as well you have some options here as well to see the, the list of recent equations that you did and you have some settings as well like automatic calculation you can turn it off if you don't like it uh, decimal places if you want to have more or less and the approx ex uh, approximation you can round it or truncate it only and uh, the multiplication with dot instead of x uh, because x can be used as sign for a variable as well and you have some pen settings as well for touch input and palm rejection of course a left or right hand so this is a myscript calculator and these are the apps that are optimized for the huawei m pencil usage on the matepad pro of course you have all the options to uh, use the normal display with your pen and uh, opening applications just like for example the weather application just by typing on it and uh, this is now telling me it doesn't run with google without google play services which is not true and yeah i can go into the multitasking view and change two different applications in here and have the full potential of using the pen sill instead of my finger to do uh, certain tasks especially tasks where you have to be very precise in the corners or in the middle you can do 
uh, relatively good with this. I can also imagine video editing. I want to edit this. I have the option to uh, scrub here very precisely to the point that I like to go and uh, do my edits with this pencil. So it's a very useful pencil uh, for the Huawei uh, Mate Pad Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can like, subscribe, ask questions. If, if, if there's something I particularly I should test with the Huawei M Pencil, you can tell me. And uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.